So this week we're going to continue with our discussion about uh, uh, structural design patterns. And um, <clears throat> uh, here's the challenge that I would like to present. Uh, um <clears throat> For instance, I would like to uh, have a system that maintains a list of user accounts, right? User <clears throat> accounts. And so the um, uh, so say that I actually have a class named user account, okay, um, and in that class, of course, I maintain um, uh, I maintain um, um, uh, user user ID, right? So we have some sort of user ID. Um, uh, we can have uh, other types of attributes, but I also want to store information about user privileges, right? privileges basically some sort of code or combination of bits that uh, explains what user privileges are and I can have you know administrator users uh, users that can create other accounts uh, guest accounts uh, power user accounts all kinds of users in the system that uh, may be uh, allowed or disallowed to uh, do certain uh, operations and uh, perform uh, specific use cases. All right. So, um, and of course, uh, I can have uh, multiple uh, methods uh, in this user account class that manages the, the, the privileges and does other things. But here's the challenge. Uh, oftentimes, I would like to recognize groups of users. Right, so the groups of users. Um, so basically, a user group. So if I can have user account, I can also have a user uh, group. And user group primarily is uh, very, um, uh, very specific uh, uh, here because um, uh, what it can do, it can effectively describe privileges. Uh, for the entire uh, group of users, right? So instead of going to individual users, I could somehow make uh, my user accounts part of specific user group and assign these privileges uh, to you know to this specific group, and, and this way uh, all account accounts that actually do belong to that specific group can inherit the. Um, uh, uh, basically can inherit uh, uh, privileges from the group that they belong to. At the same time, the story doesn't end here. Uh, basically, if I say that I have, you know, group, uh, 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 group A over here, um, and this group A uh, is an object which I maintain in memory, right? So this is like a... a like a real object in memory. And so somehow it keeps track of certain accounts, okay? So it gives me access to, you know, to a set of accounts over here. So so these accounts are themselves objects over here and I can access them through the group. Of course I can access them individually, but but I can access them through the group as well. Right? But the whole thing is that perhaps I can make this group A part of another group. In other words, I would like to be able to combine uh, combine group A with privileges of group B, right? And uh, I have this group B uh, of users, another object in memory, okay, where I can specify some privileges and then use, um, instead of using specific account, as part of this group, make group A part of group B, right? So, uh, so there, if I specify some privileges over here, I can combine them with privileges inside group A, and this way inherit privileges for individual accounts. So these are actual uh, user account uh, objects uh, at this level. In other words, this whole arrangement of relationship between the users and groups and uh, uh, you know multiple groups begins to look more like a tree right so i would like to be able to organize the tree okay like this 
so that uh, uh, things can be grouped uh, not just uh, based on one single group, but uh, a combination of groups and the fact that uh, you know group A can be part of group B. Uh, and so this way, if this is if this is a group, and this is also a group, and this is also a group, I can say that this entire arrangement, and these are individual accounts, right? Accounts, 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 and so forth. These are individual accounts. So, but at the same time, it's okay for me to derive an account directly from this group, right? I don't have group, I don't have to make, uh, you know, this can be another account object that belongs to this top level group of users, right? So both groups uh, and accounts can be derived, right? So this can be an account object over here, uh, user account, that derives directly from group B. However, uh, these account objects actually derive from group A, which itself essentially is associated with group B. So the question is then, how can I manage all of this, right? What is, uh, what is, what, is there any sort of design pattern that would allow me to manage uh, an association like this? Um, and what are the challenges and uh, basically what are, what are best practices to organize um, a set of objects into a tree? And what are formal definitions that we can identify in these types of uh, uh, in these types of structures, which are very practical and uh, should then be uh, somehow you know managed by our software. 